All right, y'all, what's Brackalacky, man? Let's talk about it. My guy, Pete Carroll, Coach Perry, uh, I said Coach Perrell. Coach uh, Carroll, I was trying to put Pete in the Carroll. Coach uh, Carroll, he has retired. He most likely is going to take an, an advisory role in, um, you know, the Seahawks organization. But nevertheless, I love this dude. You know, I'm I'm a emotional, hardcore, obsessive USC fan. You can see the flyers, a couple of the flyers in the back. But um, man, I miss those days. You know, there's a saying, don't take anything for granted. I definitely took the USC days, the golden days, the golden era with Carol for granted. It seemed like something that was gonna last forever, and clearly it did not. My favorite year of Coach Carroll coaching. The Trojans is probably the year when we annihilated Oklahoma because they had Adrian Peterson, who eventually be, uh, would become, you know, a top five, top ten running back of all time. I don't give a damn what none of y'all say. He damn near in the top five, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, for NFL, of course. But at that time, he was at Oklahoma, and they was going crazy with them. But he wasn't better than on Reggie Bush at the time. Reggie Bush... It's the greatest running back in college football modern era. I don't care what nobody say. No one was more electrifying than that man. He spectacular is just only one word of many that you can use to describe Reggie Bush. Uh, I love Matt Leiner. Um, shout out to Carson Palmer. Shout out to Matt Castle. Shout out to John David Booty. Shout out to Mark Sanchez. Yes, I remember all of them. So, yeah, man, we had Brian Cushing. Man, we had so many guys. Troy, Troy Palomalu. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I could go on for days. Um, yeah, bro, uh, Troy Palomalu was probably my favorite safety of all time. Even though I know a lot of people love uh, Ed Reed. He's, he's still my favorite. But, um, oh, Clay Matthews. I loved him. <clears throat> he was like Thor for, for us on the uh, Trojans. But... <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, my favorite coaching season of Carroll as a USC fan um, was when they destroyed Oklahoma in the uh, the um, national title game. I just thought about this, too. It's kind of weird. The last time that Carroll had entered or coached a championship game, both of them were very dramatic at the very end. Them against Texas. I've only watched that game once live. I refuse to watch that game again. It really hurts to watch as a USC fan. So fuck you, Texas, and fuck you, Vince Young. I just, I got to get that off my chest. Um, <laughs> but um, also, even though I'm not a Seahawks fan, I still supported Carroll, and I, I loved Russell Wilson, his first, you know, what, eight, nine years in the NFL. He was my favorite quarterback at the time. But um, yeah. So th that my favorite season of the Seahawks, Pete Carroll coaching was when they demolished the Broncos. I knew they was going to beat the Broncos. I knew it. They did it in the in the preseason. I said it was going to happen again. Payne Man was going to throw all them touchdowns and what is going to mean nothing. It was going to get killed. And that's exactly what happened. I love that year. And then they destroyed. They uh, not destroyed, but they beat the 49ers who I hate. And I'm a hardball hater. He just won his first national title. But I, I was a big hardball hater because when he was at Stanford, he ran up the score at USC with Toby Gerhardt. And I despise that man to this day because of that. So I was so happy when Pete Carroll got his lick back on that sucker in the NFL, in the NFC Championship game, and sent him packing. Well, he only he had one more year left, but then Harbaugh ended up leaving. And then went to the Michigan Wolverines, and the rest is history. But yeah, that was my favorite uh, season of Coach Carroll from the NFL for the Seahawks. But yeah, if you notice, both of the championships game ended very dramatic. Very dramatic for different reasons. Nevertheless, he's still one of the greatest football coaches of all time, winning both college football and NFL. You can never take that away from that man. But yeah, the biggest regret obviously would be, you know, him not letting Marshawn Lynch run the ball in the red zone, the, the you know, enter the end zone. But once again, one of the greatest college football coaches of all time, one of the best head coaches in NFL history. 
tip of the cap to you. Enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your advisory role. If you choose to go upstairs, which I believe you probably will. Enjoy. Just enjoy all that. Enjoy still living on this beautiful earth. And um, yeah, just enjoy everything that comes your way for the rest of your life as it already has, you know, through majority of your life. Salute to you, Coach Carroll. Enjoy your retirement.